going to start recording before I start just going off because you guys know me. I will just go. And so welcome to Thursday Night Team Hustle and Heart Zoom. There's a reason I named this Team Hustle and Heart. And you know, I genuinely believe with my entire being that this team is built on on work, on grit, but also on our hearts. I am so I'm just going to toot our own horn here. I think that we have the most incredible team. I think that we are open hearted. I think that we're friendly. I think that we genuinely care about people. And you can tell that from the way that we talk to people and the way that we train our new people and the environment that we create on our team. Um, so thank you. Thank you guys for being a part of this. If you're brand new, thank you for getting on. You rock. Um, tonight, we're going to talk a little tiny bit about mindset at the beginning. We're going to talk about posting and we're going to talk about reaching out to people and then we're going to go over any questions that you guys have. So if you have questions, put them in the chat here on Zoom and I will answer them at the end. Okay, so what I was just saying is if you're on this Zoom, you're on this Zoom because you want to get better. You want to learn. You want to grow. You want to connect. You want to figure out how the heck is Hope a Double Diamond? What did she even do to get there in the first place? Because I'm having a hard time even signing a customer. So how, do, how does one promote to the fifth rank in the company? And the number one thing that I want you guys to just get in your head right now before we stop talking about logistics and editing photos and how to send messages and all of these other like real like action-based things is just your mindset. Your mindset, guys. How, how do you feel about your business when you walk into your business every day? Because if the answer is that you're feeling crappy and you're feeling low and you're talking bad and you're, I'm not very good at this, nobody wants to buy from me, nobody's responding, that's very low, low energy that you're bringing into your business on a daily basis, okay? You need to be speaking positively, you need to be thinking positively, and so I'm going to teach us all a mantra right now. My mom's a yoga teacher. She's very big into mantras. So I'm going to teach you all a mantra right now. And this is going to be the mantra for our team forever. Okay. And I believe it so strongly. And I hope that you guys too. And it's four words. Don't quit. Can't fail. Don't quit. Can't fail. When you have your worst day when you have your worst conversation when you've got somebody you sent them your website they said they were going to order and now they've been ghosting you for six weeks you don't quit you can't fail period end of sentence about this business okay if you keep showing up if you keep doing your best if you keep learning if you keep asking questions and getting on team zoom you will not fail at this because success is just a daily habit it's not a rank you get to it's not a paycheck. It's not how many customers you sign up. It's what you do consistently on a daily basis. Okay, guys, does that make sense? So that's the mindset first and foremost that we're going to have going into this Zoom. So the first thing that I really want to talk to you guys about is about posting. And for a lot of people, you know, you come into this business and you're not posting every day, right? Like how many of us were actually posting every single day on social media before we got into this business? Certainly not me. Um, but you have to think about it like this. Your posts are your, your open sign, okay? If you're not posting, how does anybody know that you're open? You don't have a storefront to go into every day. You switch on the little sign out front with the open on it so everybody knows you're available. That's not how, that's not, that's, you don't have that. So instead, you have your Facebook and you have your Instagram. And how do you tell people you're open? You're posting. You're posting about your business. You're posting about the products. But more importantly, you're, you are posting about you. So I want to ask you guys this question and really have you guys think about it. What did you post about before you started? What were the things that made you get on Instagram and make a post, right? For some of us, it was totally random stuff. And that would be stuff that we would have to like clean up and make a little more positive. But I'm talking about like, if you're a mom, like, and you would post pictures of your kids before, right? Or like what your family was doing. Um, you would post pictures of when you went to vacation, when you got to see a friend or a family member you hadn't seen for a long time. Maybe you're posting pictures of your fur babies, your cats and dogs and fish and birds and whatever all kind of creatures you guys got going on. Maybe you were posting about, um, 
Maybe you're posting about the food you were eating, where you guys were going, where you guys were going out to eat, and who you were with when you were there. Those are all things that you should still be posting about because those are the things that make you you. Those are the reasons that people started following you in the first place before you started this business. So we talk a lot about, you know, when you're posting on social media, clean it up, okay? Quality. Quality matters, you guys. I would rather you not post <laughs> than post a grainy photo, a photo that's over filtered, a photo that is in the dark, okay? Take the time. This is your business. It might take you an extra two, three, four, five minutes to edit your photo and, you know, try, you know, put a filter on it, brighten it up, all that stuff, but it's going to make a world of difference on your Facebook, on your Instagram. If people can really see your face, if it's a good quality photo, if it's got a nice filter on it, it seems silly. Believe you me, in the beginning, I thought it was silly too, but just taking that little bit of extra time to take a selfie in front of a window with natural light instead of taking it in your dark bedroom, to go outside and take a picture of what you're holding in your hand so that you get that good natural light instead of taking it in like your dark. You guys, please trust that my house is like built in 1948 and has no insulation and is like the floors are dirty and I do not have white countertops. We have like ugly tile in our kitchen. My bathroom is like this big. But you would never know that from my posts because I'm very particular about where I take my photos and the lighting where I take my photos, right? You don't have to live in a mansion. You don't have to live in a fancy house to make your pictures. That's what something I told myself in the beginning. Well, I live in a crappy apartment. I don't have a fancy house. You don't need a fancy house. You just need to know how to take photos and edit them. And that's part of what we're going over in the social media basics as well, um, that, or the uh, becoming a social media rock star page. Um, so what did you post when you started, but clean it up and be more positive and take the time to use, there's tons of apps, guys, pick, tap, go. Um, I'm trying to think of some more that I use. I use Facetune. I use pick, tap, go. I use, um, now I use V V S C O cam, Visco cam. If you guys have other apps that you use, will you drop them in the chat for me so I can like list them out loud to people? Um, but those are the main ones that I use. There's a ton of picture editing apps, guys. Tons. So find the ones that you like. Find the way you like to edit your photos and roll with it. Um, posting your Fs. And that is your faces, friends, food, fur babies, fun, family. I can't think of any more Fs right now, but you guys get what I'm saying. Those are all the things that should be on your page. Even if you're talking about the business. Even if you're talking about the product. It should be a good quality photo that you took yourself or something cute you found on Pinterest, but it's still a good quality photo. Okay. There are so many examples in the team page for you guys of like good versus bad. And it's not that like, I never posted a bad spammy post because I did, but like do as I say, not as I do, like, don't make the same mistakes that I made. I'm here to teach you to do better. Um, people do not want to go to a page that is all words and all photos and they have no idea who you are and they have no idea what you do or even what you have. You guys have been to an, uh, it works distributor page where they didn't even have a picture of themselves because I have, and I would never buy from that person. Not because they're not a good person or not working their business because I don't know them. People buy from who they know, like, and trust. So when you go to your profile tonight, after this training, look at it. Would you buy from you? <laughs> Would you order from you? And if the answer is no, it's okay. It's not too late. If you don't quit, you can't fail. We can work on this together using these tips and using these tricks. So some apps also, we have Preview, Airbrush, Facetune. Yep, I said Visco, Pix PixArt. Pick Tap Go, Insta Beauty. There's like a hundred million photo editing apps, guys. Find the one that you like, use it, okay? Um, you should be posting about products and results in your, your story, okay? That's not to say I'm not ever gonna post a before and after picture on my page again, because that's just not true. But on a general daily basis type, 
of, of working my business. If you have specific products or before and afters that you want to share, put them in your Facebook or your Instagram story. And, um, but also put personal stuff in your Instagram story. You don't want somebody to stop watching your story because they know that if they watch your story, all they're going to see is business and product posts. You'll see me. I'm at the, I'm taking my dog on a walk. You got a picture of my coffee in the morning. You got an inspirational quote. You got a throwback picture from my memories that day. Um, you know, I don't, I don't even know. Ask people questions, go record your face and talk about something that happened that wasn't about the business. Now you guys are really shaking. You're like, you want me to do what? I'm serious though. Take your phone and talk about, Hey guys, you know, I just ran out of shampoo and conditioner. Does anybody have a shampoo and conditioner that they just like are loving? Let me know. People are going to answer you. You're going to get interaction. You're going to make friends. People are going to know that you're a real life human being. And who do people buy from? Real life human beings. True that. Okay. So that all being said, oh, I have underlined here. Uh, this is a tip from Crystal. Literally love your selfie. Love your selfie. You need to start loving yourself enough to take pictures of yourself. Selfies. I, my husband, he's such a good Instagram husband. I'm like, Tyler, hold this picture here. When I say go, click. He takes pictures of me all the time. Okay. Ask people to take pictures of you. Set up your phone on your windowsill, on a chair, on a stack of books. Okay. To, and pose with the timer. You're going to feel ridiculous. You're going to look cute as heck. And people on Instagram and Facebook are going to love that you're confident enough to take pictures of yourself. So this is what Crystal said. She goes, even if you're just feeling yourself once a week, once a week, and please know that I am a stay-at-home dog mom who is 18 weeks pregnant. This is what I look like almost every day of the week. But once a week, homegirl showers, blow dries, full face makeup, gets in a cute outfit and takes some freaking pictures. Because I know that it's not just going to make me feel good on the inside, but I'm going to have some good content to put on my page. Okay. Love your selfie. Love yourself. Love your selfie. And if you're not feeling confident, you're not feeling good, honey, I got to tell you about this line of products that I know that really helps with skin, energy, weight loss, stress, you should be taking some and then you'll get results and then you'll be feeling yourself. Okay. Okay. So you have to take pictures of yourself guys. You have to. Okay. Period. End of sentence. And not like crappy grainy ones with, with Snapchat filters where no one can see your face. Show your beautiful face to the world. That's what people want to see. That's what I want to see. And if you're feeling embarrassed guys, come in the team chat. Say, guys, I just posted this picture of me and I'm like so nervous about it. We will go, we will be your hype men. We will be your cheerleaders. We will love on you. Okay. That's what we're here for. So now you're posting and, <clears throat> excuse me, and your posts are crisp and clear and beautiful and confident. And you're talking about your life and your loves and your dreams and your goals and yourself. And now you're going to start reaching out to people. And reaching out to people is not going to feel so scary when you know that when you reach out to somebody, they're going to go to your profile and they're going to see somebody who is happy, positive, confident, ready to rock, ready to get their dreams. You're going to feel better about reaching out to people. We're going to talk about it too, though. I'm going to drink some water. So the most important part about reaching out and we used to call it messaging right if anybody's been with us for a long time it used to be you need to message you need to message you need to message and you'll still see us see, hear us say message sometimes but i really want us to move away from this idea of like i need to message people and shift into this mindset of like i need to reach out to people you need to reach out to people to share with them the information about what you're doing and about what these products are, okay? We are shares people. We are not sales people. You will feel so awkward and so uncomfortable if you are trying to sell somebody something. If your goal when you message somebody is to sell them something, they will know 
And the answer will be no. <laughs> I don't want you to sell me something. I'm not interested. But if you go to somebody and you say, hey girl, you know, I have no idea if you would be interested, but I'm doing something that I'm so excited about. Can I give you some more information? Sure, girl, what's up? I'll hear you out. What's going on? You'll still get people to tell you no. Those are not the people you want to be talking to. But anybody who's going to take a genuine, real reach out message that you wrote yourself asking if they'd like some more information, now all you have to do is share. And if anybody is still using the words convince, get, as in like get them, or sell to them, you need to take all those words out of your business vocabulary, okay? You are sharing with them. You are sh talking with them like a real human being. You are sharing them the, with them the information, giving them the information, and you're being confident about knowing that these products are amazing and this opportunity is amazing. Period. End of sentence. They get to decide what to do with all of that. But you know what I know after three and a half years? People want this. People want this. And if you're sitting around going, people don't want this, you're not talking to enough people. Because I literally talk to people every single day who want to make money, who want to lose weight, who want to have more energy, who want to grow out their hair. Every single day. And they may have objections. And we did a whole Zoom last week on covering objections, which is uploading right now. And I promise I'll have the link someday for you guys to watch. Um, but they may have objections and they may still say no, but we, we know as entrepreneurs that no just means not right now, or I don't know enough, or I don't know you. <laughs> and all of those things are not, I'm not interested. They just mean no for the moment. So the best thing that you can do is be friendly, be confident and leave a good taste in their mouth. I got this quote from um, this really incredible woman who's been in um, network marketing. She's not in our company, she's with a skincare company, but she's been in network marketing for a very, very long time. Her name is Sarah Robbins. And she says, you build your business on the ones that stay, but you build your reputation on the ones that go. And I love that because you know what? I have girls walk away from this all the time. But you know what the beautiful thing is? Whether it's two weeks or two months or two years later, they come back. Because I wasn't a busy when they left. I wasn't rude. I wasn't like, what do you mean you're leaving? I was like, okay, honey, I hear you. Life gets hard sometimes. This team is here for you when you're ready. And when they come back, they feel loved and accepted enough to come back to me. And it's the same with potentials. I can, I've, signed, <laughs> I've signed 21 distributors this month. I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm saying that so you guys understand why I look like this and why I run around like a chicken with my head cut off every single day of my life. Um, but the point of that being is that I've had three girls come to me and sign up to be distributors this month who straight told me no six months ago. But when they told me no, I wasn't like, well, why? Oh, okay then. Good luck. I was like, okay, girl, I totally get that. Is there a better time I can check back? Maybe they didn't get back to me. I think I followed up, you know, a handful of times. Hey, we've got this great new product. Hey, I've got these $20 deal, you know. And then this month they messaged me, hey, do you have a $20 code? I want to join your team. But they said no. So what's the difference? I wasn't rude. I wasn't pushy. I wasn't, I wasn't mad. I just understood that right now wasn't their time. So this is the mindset you guys need to have with reaching out to people. You're reaching out. You're asking if you can share the information. You are, you know, you're, you're talking to them. You're being confident. You're, this is another tip. Start high, you guys. And I mean that in terms of the products. Do not start by offering them the greens and then trying to work your way up to a $156 package. Start with the Fit 30 and go down. It is so much easier to say, oh, it's $156. And they go, oh my God, I can't afford that. And you go, okay, well, how about 72 for the greens and the coffee? And they go, yeah, okay, I, you know, that's, I can do that. That's better. Then it is to go, okay, I've got this coffee. It's $39. Oh, and if you add the greens, it's 33. They're going to go, eh, no, I'm good. I'll just get the coffee. So keep that in mind, you guys. It is so much easier to just, and just be calm. I literally, 
had a brand new distributor yesterday. She was talking to this guy. I, I was like, you need to recommend the fit. He wanted to lose like 75 pounds. He said he loved coffee. I was like, you need to recommend the fit 30. And she goes, and she said, oh my gosh, what if he can't afford that? And I said, why don't you let him decide if he can't afford that or not? And she messaged him and he was totally down. He just has to wait for his payday, but he's totally down to spend that much. So please do not prejudge. I know you're broke. That's why you're trying to make money in this business. That doesn't mean everybody on your Facebook doesn't have a hundred dollars to spend on product. Don't judge that. Don't, don't put your own self-limiting money beliefs on the people that you're talking to. Okay. Um, and then the follow-up and then the follow-up you're posting, you're confident, you're talking to people, you're sharing the information and then you're following up and you will have to follow up. Once again, I've had some girls join in the last 30 days that are bomb, and I've talked to them for like two days, and then they join, and that's awesome. But 90% of the customers and distributors that you sign up, you will have to follow up with six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 17, 24 times before they are ready. And I don't want you guys to be like, well, I don't want to bug people. Do you know how many reasons there is for somebody to not respond to a text message? Their kid's sick. They got called into work. The dog barked. The roof caved in. Their phone died. They broke their phone. They're on vacation. There's family in town. I could keep going. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, there's so many reasons that somebody could not, would, would not answer you besides them not being interested. And I can count one, two three, four, five, six, seven, seven people on this Zoom right now that I had to follow up with at least 10 times to get them to join my team. And now they're here. And Kim's like, that's me. Hi. Yes, Kim. Yes, you're one of those seven. But you guys are here now. So be friendly, be consistent. Don't be pushy. If somebody doesn't want you to message them, they will tell you. And you can say, okay, no worries. Thank you. Have a nice day. And you can take them off your list. Um, I'm going to start going through the questions now, okay? Um, okay, so Les right off the bat, Leslie says, explaining daily tasks. Guys, posting. We just talked about it. Reaching out. We just talked about it. Following up. We just talked about it. There's only one more, and that's adding new people. And adding new people is very simple. Be picky and do a lot of it. And by picky, I just mean add good quality people. I don't know what I was doing the first time I built my Instagram, but I must have added about 5,000 spam accounts, business accounts, finstas, and like Middle Eastern men. And I don't know why I did that, because like I can't message any of those people about the business. I just like went crazy adding people. So my rule of thumb is female, a real profile picture, and their real name. And those are my, that's my criteria on Instagram. Boom, 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 boom. I literally follow like 400 people a day. Um, on Facebook, you, it's a little bit different, but not much. Get into some groups and just add people. If they, and if someone's like, do I know you? No, dude, I don't know you. I just added you. Have a nice day. <laughs> you don't have to add me if you don't want to. Just be, don't take it so, this business, okay. This is where I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent. This business is supposed to be fun. This business is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun to post and message people and talk to people and add new people and make new friends. So every single time you get stressed out about not knowing who to add or not knowing who to message or not knowing what to post, go back to what you love about doing this business, okay? Who are the kinds of people that you would wanna be friends with? Go find those people on Facebook and Instagram. Those are the people that you should be adding. I started, I started my Facebook, um, like adding, literally adding from makeup groups. That's where Crystal came from. I literally added her from makeup group like three years ago. Um, then those are your daily tasks. Post, message, add, follow up and watch trainings. And you just need to do that every day. And if anybody ever comes to me and is like, how did you go double diamond? I'm going to say, um, I posted, I messaged, I added new people, I followed up and I watched trainings every day for three and a half years. And that's why I'm about to be a triple diamond. Um, yes. So Crystal wanted me to say, explain how easy and simple it is, but how much a filter and the same filter used consistently on each picture 
adds to your post. Okay, so find a filter that you love. Okay, find a filter that you love and put it on every photo that you post. And it sounds so silly, but it's literally going to give your feed just this, um, this congruency, this flow, this vibe. Um, and you can always change it. I think I've changed my filter two or three times in the past year where all of a sudden I just like switched to a different one, but it's really going to make all, it's going to make your Instagram, like, have you guys ever just gone to an Instagram and been like, oh my God, this woman's Instagram is beautiful. That's because that's what she's doing. <laughs> she's putting the same filter on everyone. You can use that VSCO cam. That's what I use. Um, you can use the filter. I think I saw Brooke ask, you can use the filters on Instagram. They're not great. But you can, if you have one that you love, you can. Um, I would prefer you guys to just find some way to edit your photos that you love that's bright and, and genuine and just use that on every single photo. Oh my gosh, you guys, my dog is scratching at the door. Hold on one second. He's like all the way across the house. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry. Stay at home dog mom life. Um, okay. So what was I doing? I was answering questions. So find a filter that you love, put on every single one. It'll make a world of difference. Um, yes. What is the best way to really connect with people who you don't know all too well? Interaction, 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 comment on their posts, watch their stories and respond to their stories and just let them get to know you through your posts. And as long as you're being genuine with your posts, then they are gonna get to know you. Um, and if you reach out by message and you like haven't really but my, that connection with them, take like two seconds to scroll down their feed and find something that you can add to your message. So like right now, obviously I'm expecting. And so if I see that somebody is a mom, this is just an example. And I see somebody as a mom, I say, um, hey girl, first of all, oh my gosh, your kids are so cute. I'm actually expecting my first baby in July and I'm so excited to be expanding my family. So I didn't know if you'd be interested. Like, and then I go into my message, but you can do that for anything. Oh my God, your dog is so cute. Hey, I saw you're a college student. I just saw you went on a trip to New York. Like go to their profile and find something <laughs> that you can comment on. Girl, that shirt in your last picture is so cute. Where did you get it? Get creative. Use your noodle. Did anyone ever watch PB and J Otter when they were little? Or is that just me? Use your noodle. Okay. Um, so Brooke, what if I feel like, what if you feel like the person is just being irritated? Or if you don't know the person, won't they just think you're out to get them? If you are sending the right messages and being genuine and somebody thinks that then it's not about you and do you want to know how I know that because I have sent the same exact message to two people and one person is like oh my gosh girl you are so sweet thank you so much for reaching out to me of course I would love more info and someone else is like no and you shouldn't message people what is the difference here? Same me, same message, two different attitudes. So it's not about me or the message that I'm sending. It's about the attitude of the person reading the message. And like I said, if you're sending the right kind of message, not, hey, we've got these products. Do you want to try some? Hey, I need some people for a 90-day challenge. Do you want to take it? No, you say, hey, you, you know, blah, blah, blah. I saw your dog. It's so cute. I have a dog too. Hey, you know, I got some products and I'm looking for some people to use them. I don't know if you'd be interested, but can I send you some more information? Anybody who's going to be agitated with that is just not the right kind of person. It's not about you. 
as long as you know that you're writing messages and responding and it's genuinely from the heart. So um, that being said, with follow-ups, yeah, if somebody is like, stop messaging me, leave me alone, F off. Okay, girl, no worries. Thanks for letting me know. Have a nice day. Take them off your list. They still might come back and want to join your team in six months. Just saying, as long as you're being consistent, okay? So don't be snotty. Don't take it personally, okay? Just thank you so much for your day. Thanks so much for your time. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for the response, whatever you want to say. And just move on, because it's not about you, because you know that you're being genuine. Um, yep, everything that Karina said. Everything that Karina said. Um, yeah, and, and some people won't, and yeah, and some people won't. Some people, some people won't be interested. Yeah. Or not even respond. They're like, I don't know you. I'm not answering your message. That's fine. If you are being genuine and you know in your heart that you're writing messages that are, that are kind and you're looking to help people, like this is always, my mom taught me this guys. And once again, we're going to talk about my mom tonight. My mom taught me this. If you know your intention, if you know that you did something with a positive intention, you did something with the intention of sharing with them helping them, offering them something that's going to change their life, and they are snotty about it, you know that you did, you know in your heart that you're a good person. You know in your heart that you're offering them something that you really believe in. You know in your heart that this opportunity could change their life. So why are you feeling bad? They don't have to be interested. It's just your job to offer. The lady at the, at the diner, you're out to eat, and she's like, hey, you want to refill on your water? And you're like, no, I'm not interested. She doesn't go in the back and cry, say, why do people hate me? No, she just goes to the next table and offers them more water. That's all we're doing, just walking around, pouring water, you know? And anybody who's interested, anybody who's not interested, just always talk to more people. Yeah, just talk to more people. You have, you have, oh, taking things personally. Unless you are coming to my house and paying my bills, I do not care what you think about me. I know who I am. I know that I'm a good person. I know that I love my family and I know I love my team and I know I have integrity and that's it. If you are not coming to the grocery store with me to fill my refrigerator, so that my family can eat. I do not care what you think about me. Period. End of sentence. That's how you stop taking things personally. You believe in yourself. You love who you are. You love your selfie. You work on personal development and self-improvement every single day. And you realize that if they're not offering to come pay your bills and buy your groceries, take your kids out to ice cream, then you should not care what they have to say. If they're interested, that's awesome. And you can totally share with them more information. But there's no reason to be upset about it, guys. There's no reason to be upset about it, okay? I think that brings us to the bottom. Yeah, like their message. Thank you for not getting back to me. If you don't mind me asking, what makes you not interested? Yep. Krista, I love that. Krista just said, you can only control what you can do in the way you talk to others, not how they reply or act in response. It took a long time for me to come to terms with that. I have soft skin, but I just smile and move along. It's so true, guys. You can't control other people, but you can know who you are. You can know who you are, and you can know how you meant things, and you can know what you're doing on a daily basis, and, you know, that's it. That's all we've got. And that's why personal development is the other most important part of what we do. Getting on these Zooms, leaning on each other, listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts, listening to other people's success stories. You have to have that inner piece of you that knows where you're going and who you are. And that's how you don't get rocked by what other people think of you. And it didn't happen overnight, guys. 
I literally had an internet troll make a fake Instagram of me this weekend and it was awful and it was so cruel and it made me want to vomit and it wasn't the first time and it probably won't be the last time and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it didn't hurt my feelings because it did but at the end of the day that person is a sad lonely messed up person with too much time on their hands who is not paying my bills so you can let people like that stop you from making money stop you from buying groceries stop you from paying your bills <laughs> or you can post and message and add new people and follow up and personal about de personal development yourself and make a crap ton of money with this business which is what this team is trying to do okay that's lit that's literally our team is up for like over a hundred thousand dollars in bonuses next month as a team how stinking incredible is that like absolutely mind-blowing does anybody else have any more questions brooke i'm glad that that was helpful for you does anybody else have any other questions tonight I'm so glad that I got to do this for you guys. I love pouring into you guys. I cannot, I always get, it's probably just hormones. I get so emotional, you guys. We've had, we had 19, 20-ish people on the Zoom the entire night tonight. A year ago, I was doing Zooms. There was not that people. Two years ago, I was doing Zooms. It was just me and Danielle for the most part. So we are blessed to have you guys. We are blessed to be a blessing and to be able to help you guys with this opportunity. And if you're just starting out, or even if you're not just starting out, you feel like your, your wheels are spinning and you're not making any traction, like, please just know that your team is coming. 99% of the people on the Zoom were not on my team last year, but you guys are here now and now is our time, okay? And I genuinely, genuinely believe that. Krista just asked me a last question, which is about um, Instagram. I literally had my Instagram on private until I hit 10,000 followers. Nothing about it works in my bio. Crisp, clean, clear profile picture. Kept it on, kept it on private until I literally hit 10,000 followers. And then I went public. No coffee lover, no business owner, no building my empire, no boss babe. Don't do it. People will know. They'll be like, she's trying to sell me some of that skinny coffee. I don't want it. They'll be like, oh, you do want it. You just don't know that you want it because you've never tried it. And if you had tried it, you would know that you want some. Um, that's just my keto coffee addict coming out. It's fine. Um, talk about the stuff. That, and all you guys, all of this is in that becoming a social media rock star page. Okay. If you're not in that page and you need some more tips, tricks, social media help. Let's get you in that page. Watch the training, go through it. Um, but that's it. That's all I've got for you guys tonight. So thank you for getting on. Thank you for caring enough about your businesses to get on. Thank you for caring enough about yourselves to want to make a change in your life, to want to make this business work for you. This is the first step of many, many, many steps. And we're going to do this next Thursday and the Thursday after. And our team's going triple diamond next month and I can't even handle it. I'm so excited. We actually may not, actually, I think next, I'm gonna eat my words. Next Thursday is the last day of the month. There will not be a training Zoom. There will be a work Zoom, a hustle Zoom, end of the month, grinding, messaging, asking questions, following up, but it won't be a training like this, okay? Not next week, we'll resume the week after. Thank you guys for getting on. I genuinely love each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys. We're going to push hard for the end of the month, okay? Bye, guys. <laughs>